Good morning, students. Welcome back to our today's video session of chapter two. Is matter around us pure or impure? So, before proceeding into today's video session, once let us recall what we have learnt in our previous video session. So, in the previous video session, we people have learnt about the properties of colloid, which seems to be a homogeneous mixture, but actually it is a heterogeneous mixture. The reason is the particles are not too small as we have seen in the solution and they are not too big as we have seen in the suspension. So that's why they cannot be seen with our normal naked eyes and cannot be filtered out by simple separation technique methods. Okay, And if the solution is left undisturbed, it cannot be separated out or the particles of the solute are not going to settle down at the bottom of the solution. That is about the properties of a colloid and it will show the Tyndall effect. That means the particles had got the, cap has got the capability that they can scatter the path of light rays. Okay. Then we have learned about the different dispersed phase and dispersion medium based on which the particles of uh, or sorry the solutions of colloid has been named differently aerosol, foam, solid sol, emulsion, gel. Okay. So those are the different types of uh, colloidal solutions. Now in this today's video session let us continue the part and learn about the types of changes. So, whenever a chemical reaction is taking place, no doubt there will be changes which takes place. Okay, no? So, the changes which are taking place here can be classified into two. One is physical change, another one is chemical change. Okay, no? So, just say, I'm going to say that when there is a chemical reaction, when there are two different substances combined with each other, so obviously there will be a formation of some new substance matlab kuch badlav kuch change nazar aayega and these changes are of two types either it can be physical or either it can be chemical to actually physical change hota kya hai aur chemical change hota kya hai to when we talk about the physical change jab hum physical change ki baat karte hain it is a type of change in which in which only physical properties of the substance kehne ka matlab hai where there is only change will be noticed in the physical properties jaise ki shape size color state theek hai na bahar se jo appearance wise hum jiski baat kar rahe hain when we are talking about the outer most external appearance physical properties so there can be change in the physical properties there can be change in the shape there can be change in the shape uh, size color or state of that particular matter or of that particular substance. So if the change is noticed only in the physical state, then it can be defined as a physical change. Usse hum physical change define karte hain. Okay. For an example, conversion of ice into water. So conversion of ice into water is what type of change? It is a physical change. क्योंकि यहां पर जो स्टेट हो रहा है वो बदल रहा है आइस दैट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सॉलिड स्टेट कन्वर्टेड इनटू लिक्विड स्टेट दैट इज इन द वाटर ठीक है तो इस तरह से क्या हो गया द चेंज हैज बीन टेकन प्लेस ओनली इन द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज अगर मैं चाहूं द चेंज कैन बी इंटर कन्वर्टेबल इट कैन बी इंटर कन्वर्टेबल अगर मैं वाटर को वापस फ्रीज्ड कर दूं इट अगेन गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इनटू सॉलिड इट मींस my physical changes are a type of reversible changes. What type of changes they are? Reversible changes and they are just a temporary change. What type of change it is? Temporary change. Kehne ka madab hai ki ye jo change aayega, ye permanent nahi aayega. It means, it doesn't mean that permanently if the water is formed, so permanently there will be only water. It can be once again converted into ice. So that means vapor solid ban sakta hai ye. So this interconversion of ice into water or water into ice can be defined as a physical change. And it is just a, a reversible change and a kind of temporary change. 
कटिंग ऑफ पेपर इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द फिजिकल चेंज एक पेपर को अगर हम कट करते हैं यहाँ पर छोटे छोटे पीसेस के अंदर इट मीन्स इट डजेंट मीन द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ पेपर हैज बीन चेंज उसे अगर हम वापस बाई यूजिंग द ग्लू और एनी अदर थिंग अगर हम उसे वापस स्टिक करें तो अगेन इट विल बी अ पेपर मेल्टिंग ऑफ वैक्स जब हम कैंडल को लाइट करते हैं वेन वी आर लाइटिंग अ कैंडल द मेल्टिंग ऑफ वैक्स स्टार्ट जब कैंडल जलता है तो वैक्स क्या हो रहा है मेल्ट हो रहा है दिस मेल्टिंग ऑफ द वैक्स इज वॉट टाइप ऑफ चेंज इट इज अ फिजिकल चेंज इट इज नथिंग बट अ फिजिकल चेंज आई एम सिंग ओके सो दैट इज अबाउट द फिजिकल चेंजेस नाउ वॉट आर केमिकल चेंजेस वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द केमिकल चेंजेस these are the types of changes in which not only the physical properties but also the chemical composition of the substance changes to yahan par sirf physical properties hi nahi badal rahi hai the chemical composition that means with which the substance is made up of that chemical composition is also changing so such type of change is known as chemical change what change it is chemical change it is so when there is a change in the physical properties along with the change in the chemical properties that particular change can be defined as a chemical change okay then in this once the substance is formed it cannot be obtained back ek bar agar koi naya substance ban gaya to wapas se uske usse previous substance obtain nahi ho sakta it means it is a non reversible change what it is non reversible change it means it is a permanent change what type of change it is permanent change it is permanently the substance gets converted into another substance or it has been modified into another substance so it is a permanent change okay now that means now let us see the examples i am saying burning of पेपर बर्निंग ऑफ पेपर अगर एक पेपर को जलाया जाता है अल्टीमेटली द लास्ट सब्सटेंस इज एश इट मीन्स नाउ आई कैनॉट ऑप्टेन बैक द पेपर फ्रॉम द एश इट मीन्स वॉट टाइप ऑफ चेंज इट इज इट इज अ केमिकल चेंज ओके नो सो हियर रस्टिंग ऑफ आयरन जैसे लोहा होता है आयरन होता है हम उसे पेंट करते हैं सो दैट टू प्रिवेंट इट फ्रॉम रस्टिंग because the dark brown colored substance jo zang hota hai dark brown substance rust that is the okay no oxide form of iron that is not the pure form of iron now it is impossible to obtain the pure form of iron from that uh, oxide so rusting of iron zang aana ek tarah ka chemical change hota hai okay no burning of wax kisi cheez ko jala rahe ho wood paper uh, wax it means ultimately we cannot obtain the substance back from those substances which are formed after burning so such type of change we people refer it as a type of chemical change it is okay students that is about the changes that is physical and chemical changes now let us differentiate what can be a change in the element and a compound it means we have learned that pure substance is nothing but substance which is made up of only one type of particles okay now an impure which is made up of more than one type of particles that is impure substance okay so when we talk about element <clears throat> what actually this element is if you want to define the element what you mean by actually the element okay now so when i'm going to define the element it means it is a very basic and simplest form of matter element is nothing but the basic and simplest form of matter which cannot be further subdivided matlab ye wo last finest atomic part hai atom hai jise aage further subdivide nahi kiya ja sakta so when i'm talking about element it means i'm talking about the particle of that element okay now that atom itself acting as an element so element is the very basic and simplest form of matter which cannot be further subdivided that is the element okay then what is compound actually if you want to define the compound okay now compound is nothing but it is 
टू और मोर एलिमेंट्स वेन दे आर कंबाइनिंग इन ए डेफिनेट प्रपोर्शन और इन ए फिक्स रेशियो इट फॉर्म्स कंपाउंड आई मीन टू से वेन टू और मोर एलिमेंट्स दो या दो से ज्यादा एलिमेंट्स दे विल कंबाइन इन फिक्सड प्रपोर्शन फिक्सड प्रपोर्शन then that can be defined as what a compound kya define karte hain use compound no doubt ye elements ke combination se banega but the combination jo hoga na wo ek fixed ratio mein hoga for an example formation of water okay no formation of water takes place by the combination of h2 plus o2 so here we need two elements of hydrogen and one element of oxygen to jab ye combined honge tabhi water banega so in the world wherever we are going if we want to observe the formula of water the formula remains same matlab worldwide kahi par bhi check karo in compounds ka jo ratio hota hai wo always fixed hota hai so the ratio doesn't change in the formation of compound so again i'm saying element is the very basic and simplest form of any matter which cannot be further subdivided that is element whereas compound is nothing but it is a substance or the <coughs> mixture which is formed by the combination of two or more elements but in fixed proportion or fixed ratio that is defined as compound okay element we example denge gold copper okay no silver purest form of metals they are the elements yeah, okay and if it is a compound it is a impure form it is a combination of two or more elements so that comes under the category of a compounds okay students that's all in this today's video session in the next video session okay no we'll be learning about the uh, diff differences between metals non metals and metalloids as well as mixtures and compounds till then enjoy your day have a good and wonderful day goodbye students